so Mariana um, uh, works at Meta. Um, she is a product system validation lead, um, and she was a doctoral student at, at CERN, uh, working in the beam gas uh, vertex uh, team. Um, in 2017, she moved to San Francisco, where she uh, tested and developed uh, LIDARs for autonomous vehicles. And uh, as mentioned, uh, she now works um, in the Meta team uh, in Seattle. So I gather you're also joining us very early in the morning, uh, Mariana. So uh, over to you, uh, please, if you've got any slides, share them, otherwise uh, just take it away. Okay, so my first time at uh, CERN was actually back in, I think, 2011. I was there as a user in, in summer. We can skip to the next slide. Ah, in 2012, um, I was part of the ASAXA experiment with um, the Stefan Meyer Institute in, in Vienna. And uh, we were working on anti-proton uh, experiments. And I really enjoyed that experience, just being there for, I think, six weeks and having like, research, seeing big scale research um, going on and uh, seeing what CERN actually was like. And um, that kind of sealed the deal for me that I wanted to do my, um, my PhD there. And so I applied for a doctoral student position. And uh, luckily, I, uh, I got that uh, position in uh, 2013. And so from 2013 to 2016, I was a doctoral student and uh, was placed with the LHCB group and was particularly working on the beam gas vertex detector, which um, is a um, beam profile monitor. And uh, as you can see on the right, I, uh, <laughs> I was helping with installation and commissioning and making sure the whole thing worked. Um, in addition to that, I also did timing studies. Um, now for the, for the time after CERN, so that would be the next slide, I uh, moved to San Francisco and started working on autonomous vehicles. First, I started as a systems test engineer, um, which turned out to be a complete software related role, which I um, did not expect. So turns out, be sure when you interview to ask a lot of questions and make sure you really understand what the job is about. Um, while I was able to do the job. I prefer to do something more hardware related considering what I did during my PhD. And so I moved over to a lighter hardware engineering role. And uh, there I was able to leverage uh, my understanding of complex systems, anything I learned in, you know, developing a detector and installing that. I um, was able to, to apply also to LIDARs. Um, in my next role, again, with autonomous vehicles, I um, started as a systems engineer, and uh, there I went from testing hardware to actually defining what the requirements need to be in order to build safe hardware. And in addition to that, um, when you have requirements, you also need to make sure that you actually meet them. And so part of that uh, role was also defining verification methods for these LIDAR requirements. And that actually leads me to um, the, the most recent step, which is moving to consumer electronics. Um, I wanted to move out of the Bay Area and wanted to move to Seattle because I had been missing the rain <laughs> um, coming from Europe. And so I started at Meta first as a contingent worker, working as a validation program manager for VR hardware. And then um, about half a year ago, I transitioned to a full-time employee role as a product systems validation lead, and that's what I'm doing now. And um, there, what I'm what I'm using my my training for, my experience for, is uh, for instance all the physics uh, knowledge, how to conduct an experiment, what is necessary, what isn't, um, how to scale these um, these tests. Um, I use coding skills that I picked up here and there. And um, again, we're back at the complex systems that need to be looked at and, and you need to figure out how it works, how it can break, and ultimately also understand what the user in the end wants and wants to do with the product. So um, one last slide I wanted to point out is when, when I write about my resume, it looks all very straightforward. It's always like, I've done this here, I've done that there, I've done that there, and this is why I'm here. Um, 
But to be honest, when I when I started, um, when I left academia and started in the different uh, companies, it felt really confusing and like, what am I doing here? Why am I, <laughs> why am I in this job? How is this helping my career? And um, only after time, there was a certain theme that kind of, you know, transpired and showed, okay, I'm actually always testing hardware. I'm always making sure that things are working the way that they're intended to work. And um, that's basically why my perceived experience was very, you know, not straightforward. Whereas when I write a resume, it usually looks very straightforward. So yeah, that's it for me. Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks, Mariana. I think we enjoyed that last slide. I think that's an important message for all of us to uh, bear in mind. You know, sometimes these things can seem somewhat complex, but um, you know, these things do make sense. And it's about this part of the challenge, I suppose, that we're able to find those narratives in our own careers and present them in, uh, in the right way uh, when it comes to uh, applying for jobs.